Um, welcome, to, welcome to our set. This is like, this is amazing. We got this couch. We just got it. It's really great. Brand new and it feels. It's a really comfortable couch. Did you touch it? I'm. I mean, I'm all. I'm always. Every atom is touching every other atom. So like, I'm not touching you, mm -hmm. but I'm touching you. Mm -hmm. Let's touch some video games. Yeah, so we're gonna do this thing where we, like, we'll take a video game and then we'll, we'll play it. And then, like, we'll just kind of sit back and kind of, you know, play it and cuckoo ca -choo, There's, like, something on your TV or something. Yeah. Space Invaders. Yeah, and the, the one is with the, with, the, with the ball and the boom. Well, let's get trucking. 2013's Old Game of the Year. Windjammers! Windjammers! All right, it's a real treat. Uh, we got our first ever uh, viewer mail. Woo! Mails! I love them. Yeah. yeah. This uh, letter here, and it says, uh, okay, it's from XX underscore Sweathog420 underscore XX. And uh, he writes, you guys are so biased against the Fairchild Channel F. I don't know, that seems a little crazy. You know, it's like the controller is really wild. Like that bowling game is good, but uh, you know, the rest of it's like whatever. I don't know, man, there ain't no flat surfaces on that thing. <laughs> and there ain't no flat surfaces Ooh. on that thing either. I mean, you know, Atari's they got more games and you know, that's cool. Oh wait, there's more here. Uh, P.S. Uh, Brad is bad at games. Ah, whatever, man. Welcome back, Cotter. Woo! URL of the year. HTTP colon slash slash candies dot anyway dot net. They're not backslashes. They're not. Welcome back. It's is day four of our adventure endurance run. And uh, today I think is gonna be a really big day. This is like far out the craziest thing I've ever seen, man. We have been inside Dragon's tummy. Yeah. For like two days, man. Today's gonna be the day I think we almost have it figured out. We're gonna get our dude out of that dragon's stomach. I think I know a way. All right, man. I'm just gonna start moving to the All right. right. Move to the. Uh. I'm just gonna keep on going and going. Best surprise. Assassin's Creed Four Black Flag. We fly no colors out here. Praise the lack of them. So let the black flag signal nothing that your allegiance to man's natural freedoms. And in conclusion, that's why I think that the Ballyastrocade is the system of the 70s. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's this far out concept where you just, you know, you put different games into it. It's not just like one, it's not just Pong, and then double Pong, and then Pong Pong. You're Pong Pong. It's Galaxian, it's Demolition Derby. You know, I just think that's like 
really exciting, you know? Yeah, man. Go for a little bit of that Astro Cade. You know what I mean, man? Ooh. I don't know what I do, <sighs> but uh, in conclusion, I love uh, the, the Astro Cade is going to be A1, man. It's going to be the thing of this. Uh, Hey, hey, man. Huh? Woo, woo, let's go. What? You want to jam on a little bit of that wind? Oh, you want to play some wind jammers. That's huh? right, bro. Wind jammers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Valley Astro Kate is in stores this holiday season from Valley. Best looking game. The Last of Us! And there you have it. Day one of 2013's Game of the Year categories are out of the way. And here we are in the studio. Uh, we've got everybody here. And it's Drew's Day. It's my day. It's your day. It's my special day. Way to go, no, no, it's, wait, it's Monday, not Tuesday. Drew's day. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, man, that's good stuff. Yep. <laughs> wow. Been Three, working on that two. all it's year. It's 2013, <laughs> and... There you have it. Uh, all right, so, whew. Drew, uh, today's the day Guys, for the your... the 70s were weird. <laughs> 70s it's, were weird? They were, they, yeah. It was a foggy time for a lot of people. I don't know what you guys... Uh, it's, uh, Better not to talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about your top ten list. Yeah? Yeah. You want to hear it? I'd want to hear it. We want to see. With? Shout it. Let's start with number ten. Seven? Okay. Ten. And then Works. let's start. Yeah. I mean, I figure, you know, <coughs> start, start at ten, count it down, and then maybe we can get to like number one or so. We'll uh, take a look at your new game. We make it. Take a look at my number one? Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. Number ten, F1 2013. Okay. Mm. You knew a racing game was going to be on here somewhere. Yeah, yeah I just pick. didn't think it would be Good your, your opener. Solid choice. Solid choice. It's a lot higher on my list, but you know. <laughs> All right. Uh, God. Yeah. Uh, I love Codemasters, everything they do. Mm. Um, uh, kind of, I mean, it coincides with my kind of newfound interest in Formula One in general. Right. So, kind of, of course, it's going to be on this list. But it's just a solid game. Uh, I, 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 I like playing a lot. I like the way it feels with the wheel, um, and it's a big improvement from the old. Cool. Feel the wheel. Uh, number nine, Gunpoint. Gunpoint. Yeah, Gunpoint. Like gun a great game. Oh, just, yeah. Drew, nicely done. Yeah. A little low on the list, but. <laughs> well, I didn't play it so much. Sure. Um, some of these, some of these games. Uh, I mean, we all have our own reasons for putting yeah. one game above another, another one, but <clears throat> I feel like I couldn't really make that call if I hadn't played mm. as much of one game as okay. I had in the other. You picked a good one, though. Like, we... Good job. Oh, yeah. Good right. point. Yeah. Good game. Good game. Uh, number eight, The Stanley Parable. Yeah. Um, I also... I, I love the, the what this game does. Uh, I love the humor in it. I love mm. its fourth wall weirdness. Um, but uh, it's it's not higher because I kind of played the mod and sure. saw what it had to offer yeah. previously. So maybe it didn't hit as hard with me. Um, but I still really, really enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. Number seven. Number seven. Number seven. Beyond Two Souls. Wow. That Willem Dafoe. Yeah. I, all right. Did he make you put that up there? <laughs> yeah. Like stare at you? Put it on the list. <laughs> <laughs> Drew. I really like this game. It was fun. Yeah. It, it's, it's, it, I liked Heavy Rain, and this Me made, too. it was not as painful to play as Heavy Rain. That's Oh, I see. I, I found the game a strong. Yeah, yeah backhanded. Strong put that on the yeah. back of the box. Yeah. Yeah. I found the game more painful to play, really? but a better story. Huh. Okay. I also agree. It's a better story. They, they, the, the focus on one central character really helps right, with right. that. Um, and it's just kind of this interesting, you know, her and her. What she call ghost it ghost guy. Ghost guy. Ghost I don't guy. Know if she has a name. Entity. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it has a name, Aiden. Uh, yeah, Aiden or Aiden. Rufus. Yeah, I was, I was like we ever decided. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's 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 a it's an interesting uh, interplay between the two. Yeah. That, uh, I think works really well. Hmm. Uh, number six, Papers, Place. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I mean, from the moment 
the the title yeah, screen comes up. Yeah, the like, way the title screen enters the screen yeah. and like lets you know yep. you're in for some shit. <laughs> yeah. and it, it is well known that I'm a, I'm a fan of crossing borders and yeah, you're a fan. Yeah. You're a fan of the block. You're a fan of detaining yeah. individuals. <laughs> right, suspect individuals. Yeah, you're you're a communist as well. It's, it's, it's okay. You can just say it. <laughs> Uh, and I think that game is, uh, is is cool beyond the presentation. I think the gameplay is really interesting too. Yeah. Um, and just how that weaves together with, with what it's trying to <coughs> convey. I think yeah. It's uh, really well done. Number five, Zelda. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, again, this isn't higher because I just haven't played too much of it. Mm. Um, but I'm really impressed with this. I know that shouldn't be a surprise, but it kind of is for me because I haven't really uh, played right. a lot of Zelda games. Yeah, yeah. Um, in Think the past. One. So. Uh, I'm surprised that this can hold up by itself uh, without the, the nostalgia uh, crushes and, um, mm-hmm. and uh, still feel fresh and uh, like a modern game. And yeah. It's really fun. It's just super fun. Cool. Number, Number four. four. Brothers. 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 A tale of two sons. Good answer. Good answer. Brothers. Oh, brothers. Uh, I mean, Brad, what hasn't been said about brothers? <laughs> Oh, I don't well, at know. this point, at this point, you know, the, uh, here we are on Monday. That's right. Yeah. There's only Not a lot one podcast been said about yeah. brothers. So you, so you, you, uh, you would say there are only three games this year better than brothers. <laughs> is that what I'm getting here? Uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's number four for me. For me, uh, this one just the emotional hit for me was was um, make I want to have it make me feel something, Jeff. Mm. Need to feel alive. Yeah. Cutting yourself isn't doing it anymore. So, yeah, well, uh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. boy, Brad, oh, I'm on fire today. Too much. <laughs> number three. <laughs> it's not even. Number three is Gone Home. Uh, I really like this game, as you could probably tell from uh, my list as a whole. I am a sucker for story uh-huh. and just kind of being immersed in. Area. The amazing dynamic story of F1 2013. Yeah, that's the one yeah. that really tipped, yeah. really tipped it off yeah. today. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, I, I, I've I, never seen a game tell a story like this, yeah. and the fact that it's unique and done so well was really impressive to me. Mm-hmm. It's so high res. <laughs> so many high res things. Yes, those textures. Oh, man, those textures. So many love magazines that. to look at. Oh, I love that stuff. Yeah, yeah. That was my favorite stuff in that game. Uh, number two. Uh huh. The Last of Us. The Last of Us. Yeah. Number two, not the last. Number two. Okay. Second, the second of us. The second to last of us. <laughs> um, I mean, that ending. Sure. Yeah. So yeah. Good. That ending. That ending. Uh, and and the rest of the game. I mean, um, I kind of got tired of the combat later. Mm. Um, I mean, everyone seems to have a different opinion on how to play that game, but I think it's pretty flexible. In in you can adjust it to the way you want to play it. So I I didn't go so much stealthy. I turned right. it down to easy. Got all the weapons and ammo and just kind of blasted through it and had oh. a, you know I had, hmm. I had fun with it. That's mm. a, that's interesting. That is like complete opposite of how I played that game. Yeah, so see, it's kinda, and, and I, I think cool. that's a testament to just how 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 good. Yeah, uh, it's it's cool that I guess it's different things to different people. To yeah, some extent. and just Naughty Dog does such a fantastic job with every aspect of graphics to story and it's uh, it's great. I all agree. Right. Let, what's your number one game though? Let's get one. down to it. Let's drum. drum Drum roll. Should we boot it up? Should we just boot it up? Should we jump into it? Let's just, let's just yeah. Yeah, let's All just right, jump let's into just it. jump into it. It's this. <gasps> it's Bioshock. Yay. Yay. Dude, dude what? <laughs> that, that game? Infinite. Oh, whoa, okay. I was going to say, Bioshock's like six Bioshock games in Brad. Okay, um, thanks for clarifying. I like this game. Uh, this yeah. This is a pretty good game. Very pretty game, for sure. I haven't uh, yes. played this game since... Uh, since I played it the first time, so I forget how to play it. Yeah. There you go. Now you got it. That. Got and that hook. And you got then... your ectoplasm hand. Ah. And then stay up there. Dismount. Running, running. Uh, I, I really enjoy the beginning of this game. Um, I enjoy most of it. Uh, I enjoy the beginning the most. You smash that guy in the head with the 
Skyhook? Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's the beginning kind of before it's all combat, before you know, you're kind of walking around amongst people when you first get to Columbia. There's a lot of really crazy stuff. There's a lot of really crazy stuff in this game. It's, it's really great. I, I love that sequence in the beginning that's kind of like Close Encounters when you actually go to Columbia, like when you're down yeah. in the lighthouse, yeah. and like the big noises are going like, wah, right. I yeah. the, like the signals to the sky. Yeah. Like that, man. I actually totally don't remember which part of the game this is. This is, uh, he's going to meet, uh... Abyssalith? Yeah. <laughs> Did you say Abyssalith? Yeah. Yeah. It's DLC. It's code, we don't want to spoil it. Oh, wow, yeah. nice. Lizzie. <laughs> yeah. Man, what a great world. Yeah. Like, just... Yeah, God. Art, Irrational art, does such a good job with... Art, like, the art design and, and also just the mystique they build up as you start to explore it and, and like, just... One thing after another just makes you go like, "What the hell is going on in this place?" Oh, lever. Like, what is the nature of Columbia? It's really and it's also really cohesive. Mysterious. You know, like yeah. it's this fantastical world, but um, they make it seem really real. That's yeah. Yeah, like you get the sense that there's a lot more that that Irrational knows about Columbia as a world, and if, even if they choose to not show it, yeah, um, that just make, gives the world a lot of weight. Yeah. Look. At Look away, man. What are you doing? Spying. <laughs> Creep. Yeah. Man, I forgot how much she changes throughout the uh, course of this game. Yeah. Ah, Paris. <laughs> oui, oui. Let's go to the dining room. Let's go. Uh, I picked this part um, because I really like what happens when uh, when you get her out. Spoilers. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you have to watch. I have to watch. What? For me, this game. Um, Whoa. That's such a nice little sequence. Yep. Uh, this game, for me, uh, sort of rekindles the same feelings that uh, the original Bioshock did when, like, you, you walk into, or, you, you know, you get into Rapture and everything's all weird and it's this, I don't know, sense, yeah. of, sense of wonder. I, I, I don't really have the words for it. But I mean, you, you kind of figure out the rules of the world, you know? It's a... It's a very twisted and, in a lot of ways, foreign society, you know? The yeah. rules don't necessarily make sense at first. But there's a lot that's familiar, yeah. and that's what makes it fun, is the ways that it, yeah. it plays upon that. Ding. Like, in a lot of ways, Elizabeth, Elizabeth is just another dumb young girl who's convinced that she needs to live in Paris. <laughs> Take photos of her socks and yeah. yeah. Holy shit. Right. I, I also just love Stranger in a Strange Land stories. Yeah. Do you love Air Cities? I like Air it's Cities. Pretty, it's a pretty strange land, you have to admit. Oh. My name is DeWitt. I'm a friend. I come to get you out get of here. Get away! <gasps> Are you real? Real enough. It took me a long time to realize that she was missing a middle finger. Yeah, middle that, finger. yeah. You've gotta go. Now I see it all the time, but sure. I just I sort of took that as just like a thimble or something. I didn't really pay attention to it the first time. Just a quirky little thing. Yeah. Stop it! You're you're too impatient. That's enough. What about this? <laughs> Where are you? Give it to me. Do you have any control during this part? Uh, no. I tried moving around, but this okay. is the first I get I couldn't remember. <clears throat> uh, where do you guys stand on uh, motion capture versus hand animated stuff? 
This looks hand animated. Yeah, me. this this has a very exaggerated, cartoony kind of style to it in general. It, it certainly depends on the game and what they're going for. I think it fits Columbia really well. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think, I think, I think Columbia is sort of an exaggerated caricature, um, but with enough, you know, reality to it. I, you know, I, I don't. Stuff like you know, motion capture is not necessarily an enhancement for every game. Yeah. Keep me locked up in here. We'll see about that. Uh, I, I generally prefer it. The motion capture. Yeah. I think, uh, yeah, unless I, unless I, the unless the thing that's being depicted is inherently kind of fantastical or outlandish, like if it's real people, I would prefer to see them move realistically. But but this is fine, you know. This certainly gets the job done. There may be some motion capture in this. Man, I forgot how crazy the sequence is. I know, this place is. Yeah. up. Yeah. Voice acting is really good too. Yep. Yeah. Oh, can you imagine how weird this would be? <laughs> Why? Why did they put me in here? What am I? What am I? You're the girl who's getting out of this tower. Hi. Hey. Unload. What, what are you doing? Hi. I've kind of I've kind of forgotten who set him on this mission. Was it the Lutesses? It was, right? Yeah, that's well. They they are rowing the rowboat at the beginning of the game. Right, but they're the ones that gave him the job, right? I think they're the ones who come into his office. Yeah. And what was their end goal? I mean, they want they were the ones that wanted to bring down Comstock. I kinda, I kinda, they were the ones who came into his office. I can't. Right. But I uh, I don't know. Maybe it's not that important right now, but I can't I can't remember their ultimate motivations. They want to see the world burn for all this. And I think they were their goal was to stop Comstock, right? I don't remember. Kind of a lot to keep up with at the end of this yeah. game. Yeah. 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 I don't I don't try too hard. Uh because it just hurts my head. Yeah, there were uh, there was a lot of discussion about the end moments in the game, and and like it was it was fun up to a point, but at, at some point it just sort of gets away from. I think is is the appropriate level of discussion about the game. At some point, it's like yeah, you look at it too, clo too closely, just like anything else, it's yeah. going to completely fall apart. Um, but on its face, you know, taken as this kind of thrill ride actiony thing. Uh, it's uh, super awesome. And man, does it look good! Uh, yeah, yeah. Did, is it, is best looking game to, or today. It is right. Uh, I don't remember anything about what categories are. <laughs> yeah. <so. laughs> I'm pretty sure it is, but well, maybe not. Um, I can't remember if this made it on that list or not, but it does look incredible. You lose. Oh god, yeah. Right. Hi. 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 Yeah, and I've kind of forgotten all these moments too. Oh, that's a great oh. moment. Oh wow, you get a little Yeah. You get a little foreshadowing in there. That's that's pretty cool. Yep. On that. Hmm. Alright. Bioshock, you guys. Yep. And that's uh, Drew's number one game. It's my number one game of the year. Hell of a game. Yeah. Come yeah. back tomorrow and we'll have more awards, more top tens, and more of everything else. Thanks for watching. <laughs>